Okay, so Frogger is a game where you are trying to go from one end to the other and not get hit by the cars that are coming out. And you can see I got hit right there. So you have a frog that moves around. It can go um, in increments, left, right, up, and down. And again, the objective is to not get hit by the cars and to make it go all the way across. All right, so I just made it to the water there. Um, you can see as we move, the frog jumps up. So the legs move left, right, and you know, certainly when I go up. When I get hit, I change costumes. It says, ouch, and then uh, returns them back to a random position uh, down here on the bottom. Right, if I get hit by the bus, I return to a random position, random position here. So I start off with a number of lives. My score is every time I get to the water. And uh, we'll go ahead and start building this thing. We'll do this in a couple different videos. Uh, the first one now, we will make the background, uh, which will be this green thing and the three roads and then the water. And then we'll talk about uh, actually coding the frog to be able to jump and uh, move around. All right, so we'll get rid of our cat, and we'll go ahead and start with our backdrop, and we'll paint this thing in here. Zoom all the way out. And the first thing we'll do is we'll put in the, uh, the grass down here at the bottom. Size it. Choose a good grass color. Just like that. All right, then we have three roads that go right up above it. Copy and paste. One of them right here. We'll change this to be the color of some kind of asphalt. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? Let's be a little bit more gray. That looks pretty gray. And then we're going to put in those little uh, white checkered things that made it look more like a road. So again, we'll start with these. We don't want them to have an outline, obviously. And the fill is just going to be white. Right? We'll just have them be pure white. Zoom in here to make it a little bit easier to place them. So I'm going to do Control C, Control V. I'll just keep copying these and putting them right down. Now, this is your project, so you do not need to. Copy exactly what I'm doing. But if you want to copy this, absolutely may. All right, now we're going to select all these things here. I'm going to group them together, Then, if I copy-paste, it saves me from having to do that three times. I can just do it once. All right, and then finally here, I'm going to copy this one. That's going to get my water on the other side. So find a good watercolor. There we go. I'll go with that. Now, this one, see, I have a little bit of space to make up in here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these. I'm going to group them together. And just bring that up. Just stretch everything a little bit. And that makes my whole backdrop. So if we're looking at it on here, you see now we have grass where the frog's going to start. And then we have our three lanes or three roads. And then our, uh, our water over here where we're trying to get to. All right. So we're going to go now, we're going to make our uh, first sprite, which will be the frog. There is a 
preloaded frog in here, I believe. I think it's this guy. Okay. It's a little bit big right now. To make it smaller, we just change our size from 100 to, I think it went with 70 possibly. Uh, but again, it's your game. You can make it every size you, any size you want. Uh, before we start coding this, we're going to go to costumes. And I got rid of this little tongue thing right here. All right, so the tongue is gone. Uh, then I wanted to have a different costume, which we'll go through right now um, for when this thing uh, jumps forward or when it moves up on the screen and when it moves side to side. Now, the great part about this one is that they actually have it uh, in segments for you, right? So you can click on just the feet, just the hands, so you can do any kind of different things that you want. But um, what I did to have it jump, oops, sorry, I held down control so I could select both of them at one time. I guess it's not going to let me do that now. <laughs> and we'll try shift. We'll see if we can just stretch them right down this way. All right. So what we want to do is we want to have our frog here. We'll call this frog regular. And then we'll duplicate. And then this will be frog. We'll call it up. And so whenever the frog moves up, we're going to change to this costume which will be like this. Right. Then we're going to have the frog moving whenever I go right and whenever I go left. So we're going to duplicate. We're going to call this one frog right. And the other one here, we'll call frog left. This is whether we're moving left, right, or up, or regular. We have all of our different costumes. For the right, stretch this down, rotate it, right? So if I were to go right, it looks like I'm jumping over here. This is frog jumping right, frog jumping left. Okay, so frog jumping right, frog jumping left, and the frog regular over here. So if I go into my code, we will start off with when the flag is checked. We're going to say uh, forever if I hit the up key, I want my frog to start moving up and I also want it to jump. So I will say that uh, if I hit the up arrow, I'm going to want him to change the X position, or excuse me, I want to change the Y position by 10. So we'll say change Y by 10, so we'll even just try that right now. So if I hit up, I'm changing Y by 10. And I also want to change costumes. So for my look, I'm going to switch to costume frog up and then I want that to we're going to put a small delay because we are we do want it to change back to the regular frog costume All right, frog regular but we won't see it if it just happens instantly like that so under control we'll put a wait command for something very very small in there um, point zero Five, I believe. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we see the legs moving a little bit on there. All right, change by ten may be a little much as well. I'll let you guys adjust it based on what you think your game should be, but uh, I think five will be a little bit more appropriate. Right? We don't want to make it too easy that we can just get right across without getting hit by the cars. We have to make the game a little bit challenging, and we can play with these numbers uh, as we get to the testing point of our game and um, figure out what it should be. All right, so up arrow, change uh, Y by five, which means we moved up, we changed the costume, and there's a weight in there, and we change back to our regular, so we can keep going with this. All right, we're gonna wanna have this sequence of events for everything with our frogs, but we just want it to be for the up, for the down, the right, and the left. 
So we can cheat a little bit here. We can go to duplicate. And we'll say when the down arrow is pressed, change y by 5. We want to make that change y by negative 5 so it moves down. And I don't think I want to have the up. I don't want to have the legs jump. I'm just going to keep it regular and regular for this. I could even remove those if I wanted to. But to keep it uh, consistent, we'll just have it that way. So I'll say this goes up, and I can move them down with my down arrow. All right, we'll give ourselves a little more space here. And we're going to duplicate again. This time we'll do right arrow. Instead of change Y by 5, we're going to want to change X, right? Because this will be going side to side. So instead of change Y by 5, we'll do change X by 5, right? If it's the right arrow, we want to do plus 5. And instead of going to frog regular, we're going to go to frog right. And then we'll change back to regular after that, so just to test it, right? We're switching. You can see we're going from the right over there. I think you know where we're going with the next part of this. All right, so we can go left, we can go right, we can go up, and we can go down. All right, we're going to end it there, let you get caught up to speed. Uh, the next part of this, we're going to code in the cars and trucks going back and forth. Uh, then, of course, if the frog gets hit. Right. We'll obviously put in the scores as well uh, and all the different variables and then put other elements on the game if we want.